What's up, true again? Uh, had to come back and uh say this right here. Now this ain't this ain't just factual. I had to say that. Pretty much try to stick to the fact. But uh, it feel like it's something to it. What I'm finna say. So what I'm finna say is this right here. Uh, now, Young Dolph had more than just bowls of weed. He had over a hundred properties. He had multiple bank accounts. He had money, cash money on the streets. And he had cash money in his house. He had cash money in his bag. Uh, he was a walking, he had cash money around his neck. You know what I'm saying? On on his body, his clothes. But let me say this, none of that, none of that little shit matter. Gandalf was working with M's. On the internet, they got his net worth listed as three million dollars. Everybody with a little bit of sense know that shit ain't true. Three million dollars, hear that? What that? Two chains and a ring. So, with with this with this mortuary shit and his uh the inability for any of us to find his, I'm still working on it. Me and my team. In his last 48 hours of movements, well, last 24 to be real specific, and uh, for 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 any of us to not find that as of now, with this mortuary shit, how do you get access to his property, to his uh, bank accounts? So, if he was missing and Monica Ave was in town, uh to patch up the work so he could be staged. Wouldn't it make sense if he was kidnapped for them to force his signature on a power of attorney? Don't forget, reconstruction, it was going on in Memphis around that time. It was actually pre-planned with all the commissioners from different states, JWP and everybody was down here for this, uh, for this money. The Fords sit on every goddamn on the commission board down here and uh Dolph controlled a lot of property that was in that way. So for that, for this all to make sense, which it sounds like it fits the pieces of the puzzle fit, then they would have to force him to sign over all that property, all that money, all them bank accounts. He ain't just gonna give it to him and say, uh, right, you know what I'm saying? So I just came through to put that on y'all mind. And uh, I just feel like with with this shit right here in the politics, which I already started, I go back from the beginning. True, I already knew I'm not looking for no shooters or none of that bullshit. I'm trying to look for the conspiracy, the co-conspiracy, co-conspirators, the one that's sitting at the top uh, dividing up his property, going through with their plans and shit like that, and got this man stretched out of the fucking cookie shop. Everybody came up, except us, that love him and miss him. And uh, when I say that, I don't say that lightly. Don't matter, cause I'm uh, from Memphis. I love him the way I love him, and the M-Town love him. And uh, he stretched beyond, far, far beyond Memphis. So y'all should love him the same with the same amount of passion to want to go and bring this one home. And we're going to do it in the name of Dolph, but we're going to do it for King Von Mo 3 and everybody else that the system has raped and taken out and, and took was it, what wasn't theirs. That's what they do to black men that try to change the game. Black men that don't want to be slaves, that want to go down their own lane and sit. You know what I'm saying? And teach, teach other young blacks how to do the same. White America don't want that shit. Matter of fact, <laughs> they fear it. You heard it here first, man. My name is True. Y'all like, share, subscribe. I always support. And uh, to anybody that want to donate anything to this channel and the people that I work with that I have to pay for their information at their different jobs and shit. My cash app dollar sign, True Results to number two. Tell next video, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Y'all keep your head on a swivel and uh, step up, black man. True.